the ending s exists already in many grammars uh, but not in all of them the words that end in s are masculine not all of them there are exceptions of course Interestingly, there are much more exceptions and specific endings for this letter than for those endings that I told you about in my previous videos. I told you already about 10 endings and there are 22 in total in German. And I hope you saw that it can be not that hard to remember the gender of the words in German. Uh, because as to those 10 easy endings, we just had to remember very few exceptions and sometimes some specific endings and that's all. With ending S, uh, it's a bit harder. We have to remember more specific endings and exceptions as before, but not too many. Uh, I'll give you lots of advice as to how to remember uh, words, exceptions that are just to be remembered. The first exception is the word titrias. It doesn't have to be specifically remembered because it's the same word as die eins, die zehn, substantivized numerals, which are all feminine in German. The word die Nuss is feminine. It's the only exception from the ending USS, U double S, and it is feminine because the words that have a lot of force, power, danger, and suffering in them are all feminine, however strange it may sound. So, die Nuss, that is so hard to crack, has a lot of power in it, therefore, is feminine. The word das Obas can be only neutral, because we need it to be shown that it has nothing to do with der Ober. The word das Ries is a measurement unit, same as the word das Fass. And also the collective term that means the measurement unit itself, I mean the word das Mass, is also neutral, very easy to remember. The word das Agens, uh, driving or propulsive force, has to be simply remembered to be neutral. Das Paradies is an interesting word because for me it belongs to a very specific group of words which end in e plus a consonant and are all of them neutral. You can see such words in the table on your screen now. You could think that there are many words of this kind that end in s, but no, there are only three. Der Kies has to be masculine because it's a stone and der Blues has to be masculine because it's a style of music. But das Paradies has no reason to be masculine and um, it ends in E plus a consonant. That's why it's definitely neutral. There is a word das Revier. It means a lapel. And it has to be neutral because all nouns that mean a part of something bigger, like machine elements or body organs, like um, here lapel is a part of a jacket, are always neutral. The word das Haus is a collective term and therefore it has to be neutral like all collective terms. The word das Floss belongs to a group of boat words, so to speak, which are mostly neutral. Das Floss, das Boot und das Schiff. Uh, then we have an interesting word das Schloss, something we open with a key and a building. Uh, they are both neutral. Das Walros is also neutral. The word das Nas is a substantivized uh, adjective and that's why it's neutral because all uh, substantivized adjectives or substantivized words in German are neutral. The word das as is neutral because it's a chemical element and uh, they are all neutral in German. The word das Wax is neutral because we need to be shown that it has nothing to do with uh, growing, uh, so with the verb uh, wachsen, to grow. The word das Gleis has to be simply remembered that it's neutral. With the word das Eis, I use the rule that all the aggregate states of liquid are neutral. Das Wasser, das Eis und das Gas. I know that uh, das Gas is not an aggregate state of a liquid, but um, it's easy to remember that all these words are neutral if we put them together like this. The words das Canus and das Tempus are neutral because they are grammar categories and such categories are always neutral. The word das Virus is neutral except uh, for the cases when we mean a computer virus. So der Computervirus and das Coronavirus zum Beispiel. Specific neutral endings are NIS, AS, OS, OUS und AIS. The words that finish in NIS are almost all neutral. There are three masculine exceptions which are easy to remember. Der Firnis, der Anis 
because it's a um, type of beverage and almost all beverages are masculine in German and der Penis is masculine um, and uh, die Vulva is feminine everything is logical here there are 13 words that finish in nis and are still feminine so how do we remember that uh, we can use the story method i told you about this method in my first videos let's imagine that we are in der ödnis in finsternis in wildnis and in verdammnis of course, we would be filled with Bedrängnis and Besorgnis, and of course, we would be in Zellisch Erstarnis. Naturally, we would have to have a lot of Ersparnis to survive in such situation, and then suddenly we get the Erlaubnis from somebody who has Befugnis to get all the Kenntnis and Erkenntnis we want. Of course, such finsternis would mean for some people a process which could lead to empfängnis. So thus we have remembered all 13 words by connecting them all in a story that has a very logical sense. Each time we see a word that finishes in nis, we go to our Ödnis story and remember all the words that are in the story and we check if the word which gender we need to know belongs to the story or not. If not, it's neutral. The endings AS and OS each have an exception. Der Ikonostas and der Mythos. Uh, the endings OUS and AES do not have exceptions. There are specific feminine endings. They are all connected by uh, one ending, IS, ES, uh, if it is not stressed. So this ending has to be not stressed then it is feminine. Uh, what kind of endings do I mean? Uh, the endings itis, sis, xis, lis, es, ies, ance, ence, eans, and ce. These endings have almost no exceptions. The word der axis has to be masculine because d axis means the axis, the earth axis, a word filled with strength and power, remember? And der axis, cervical vertebra, neck bone. The words which finish in a n c e e n c e e a n s and c e have one exception. The word das interface is neutral, so that we know that it has nothing to do with the face. I hope it's easier for you to remember the words gender in German this way with all the tips I gave you. So I hope to see you in my next videos. If you have liked this video, please like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave your comments, questions under this video and let me know if this information is interesting or important to you. Ich wünsche dir viel Erfolg mit dem Lernen der deutschen Sprache. Tschüss!